Maya, I've known you long enough to guess that we were probably the same kind of little kid. Somebody says, don't look in that drawer. That's an invitation <laughs> to open the drawer. Somebody blacks out lines uh, of copy here. What do you think and what do you want to know about the black lines here redacted? Oh, I want to know everything I'm about sure the black do. lines. I just want to find the eraser that reveals <laughs> everything. That would be a product. That, that would be, that would be a that's product. That's an app we need to develop. We may work on that. Brian, okay, that's fine. In our, in our off hours. I, this, the, the redactions tell you everything, meaning it tells you exactly what Frank Fuglusi said, which is yeah. there is more coming. Mueller is not showing his hand because he's going to take more actions. And because we know he, and he refers explicitly before the redactions, right, that this relates to the investigation around Russian collusion, that it touches the communications between uh, uh, Russians and high level transition team members. So we know that it gets us closer to connections to high level Trump operatives. And remember, just think about what we know about Paul Manafort, right? Roger Stone helps Paul Manafort become uh, connected to the campaign yeah. in the first place. It is at a time when we now know from Michael Cohen that he and Felix Satter were actively working on Trump Moscow and keeping Donald Trump advised. And remember that we have Michael Flynn sitting at a table with Putin <laughs> before he becomes formally engaged in the campaign, but he knows Donald Trump. He's been paid to be there mm -hmm. by uh, a, a such RT. RT, which the State Department has called a foreign agent because it is supported by Putin. All of this, by the way, is happening. He is an informal advisor to the campaign in February 2016. Right. He's already advising on national policy. He has a relationship to the Kremlin. So you have to suspect that he knows about all the conversations that are underneath all these things we already know about. And I suspect that that's part of or at least my my guess would be that's part of what's in there. And I think absolutely Donald Trump Jr. is someone who we know is very active in the campaign. We know was very active in the Trump Tower meeting and trying to get emails. So I think when you start to look at all of this together, more is coming. If I'm in the White House, if I'm Donald Trump, I am losing sleep and I am dreaming stripes. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.